We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly. There were a few producers who complained about, um, you know, how the rise of OnlyFans, which really, you know, we saw skyrocket during COVID. A lot of performers didn't really come back to shooting mainstream porn. Yeah. How do you feel about that critique? I mean, it's true. I mean, I, I consider myself like one of those people. I have shot like here and there. But I mean, in all honesty, like right now, I haven't shot a scene for a mainstream company in almost a year. This year, I am actually like going to change that. I am going to be shooting for a few companies and a few different people this Mm -hmm. year just to just to do it for fun and Mm -hmm. to have like more stuff circulating again, accumulate new fans and people haven't like seen me because the industry again has like changed and there's always a bit of a turnover every few years. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I want to shoot a few scenes this year. But I think it's a valid critique. I think some, I don't like it when they're mad that people aren't shooting because they don't need to. Cause some of it's like, they're mad that performers aren't as maybe quote unquote desperate as they mm-hmm. used to be for work. The power dynamic has shifted. No, and that's what it is. People are uncomfortable with that. That's I think like the problem. And I, uh, I'm i not a fan of that. It was like, oh, you're just mad. You can't get so-and-so on your set for a discounted rate to do something that maybe she's not all that comfortable with doing because mm-hmm. she can do what she wants to do at home or she can like, uh, fund her own set day and work with the people she wants to work with and mm-hmm. hire the people that she wants to be around. So I, I, I understand that like, oh, it's a bummer to not get like certain people on set. Like, I love that some people are mad that like, you know, I'm not as on their set as much, but it makes you feel like valuable. It does. You should have appreciated me when you had me. Yeah, a little bit. (laughs) And it's like, but if you treated me well, I always remember that. Like, again, like the people that like have treated me well and work with me, like I'll like hire them to work for me or they'll be the first people that I talk to Mm -hmm. when I'm considering like shooting for, for companies again, be like, Hey, you know, do you, yeah. Do you want to like work with me in the next few months? Um, but yeah, so I don't like when they're bitter about it because they almost are upset that we are taking charge of our our lives and our brands and we don't necessarily like need to do things anymore if we don't want to do them. But I know it's a bummer. So mm-hmm. I see it from both sides, but be happy for people doing well. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I personally I again, I also understand, you know, being upset that like, you know, you can't really shoot so-and-so anymore because, you know, they decided to do their own thing. But personally, I really feel like, I just feel like it just makes the industry better overall because yeah. then the people who do come to set are people who actually really want to be there. Agree. And I don't, I hate working with people who don't want to be there. Like if you don't want to be there, like I don't want you to be here either. Yeah. And there were definitely, you know, times that people would take gigs because they had to, which yeah. I understand. And now I feel like the people who show up on set are people who really want to be there. And that for me, it just makes the whole dynamic feel better and yeah. the vibe on set feel better. So I personally like, I just and I really like that performers have more power and more agency now. I feel like brands have taken notice. They treat them better. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's made me feel more comfortable in my position as a director because there's definitely been times when I've worked for brands who like have tried to get me to push performers to do something that they didn't Mm -hmm. like or, you know, put me in in like an awkward position. And I didn't really feel. I was nervous about saying, no, I won't do that. Cause then I'm like, then they're not going to hire me anymore yeah. because I'm not pushing them to get the things that they want. So for me, I just feel like this just feels like it's better overall for everybody. Yeah, I agree. And then, yeah, when people show up to set, they really want to be there. They want to do it for fun. Like, yeah, it's going to be fun to go back on sets because I want to be there and not yeah. because like, oh, I really need this check yeah. or got to make sure I pay rent. Like, no, just because, hey, I want to, like, have some really cool sex with some really cool people and, like, make it into a really dynamic, fun day and see some people I haven't seen in a while. But, yeah, I think I think that's fabulous. You know what's been so interesting is that I've had a lot of – when I do other interviews, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, what do you think about, you know, the fact that OnlyFans has, like, killed the porn industry? I'm like, wh- when? Where? It. Where is that? Where is the evidence that it's killed the yeah. porn industry? Where is the evidence that, like, browsers is going under? Like, yeah. you know, where is the evidence that, like, adult time, like, isn't producing anymore? Like, if anything, I feel like brands are shooting more content now. Yeah. So, like, this – and it's just interesting. It's, like, trying to create this narrative that pitches, like, the performers against, like – 
the studios like yeah I don't like that I have seen that but I would also on your side argue the same thing I think that because OnlyFans made uh, sex work a little bit more mainstream which it undeniably has of course we still get stigma of course we're still getting shut down and certain states still hate us and we'll shut down our websites but more people are a part of OnlyFans than we you would even think like especially with the pandemic so many people started creating content and they started realizing like oh I don't have to maybe do super extreme things to be considered like a sex worker I can maybe like shoot solos or girl girl like the kind of boy girl things I want to shoot so I've noticed that people have really kind of crossed over a lot more I know like that can be a little bit controversial too because I even know some performers like they don't like that a lot of like um people that got started on OnlyFans or got started on like different websites are getting a little bit of attention from brands because they're getting so popular on their own but I've noticed people like really crossing over and starting to do more adult work. I don't think porn is having a hard time getting people within, mm -hmm. get, getting people into porn. I think you're not getting as many people, again, desperate. Like you're not getting like these scared, like desperate people who like really need the money and are just willing to do anything anywhere. You're getting people with a little bit more confidence and a little bit more of a voice. But I think you're still getting a lot of people who want to be a part of sex work. I think sex work has become a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. I think the amount of people that want to talk to us and like understand like what we do in our business and our brands are is becoming a much bigger thing, even like in terms of podcasting, like there's so many podcasts that now are inviting us on just to talk to us and that are interested in hearing our stories. I think no. So I would completely disagree. I think that porn is fine. Mm -hmm. And I do think that it's actually brought in a whole new kind of group of performers and I just think they're they're stronger minded performers. I think they're more business savvy. I think you're just getting more educated performers in the industry now, which as a performer I think is a great thing because it also doesn't like have the cliche of like the industry is super seedy and super dark and you do it out of desperation as like your last resort and there's nowhere to go. So I think it's actually a really cool thing that it's become so mainstream. We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly.